to this edition of What a Horse. Right here, I have a special co-host on here today. He's He ain't just Mr. Russ Thompson. He is the world grand champion, Mr. Russ Thompson. Thank you, thank you. Glad um, to be here. I'm, I'm glad to have you. Well, we'll be gonna be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, world grand champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000, or select amateur show pleasure world grand champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition, and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these world grand champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another world grand champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. Welcome back to What a Horse here. Like I said, I have Mr. Russ Thompson with me, and we're going to let Mr. Russ do some announcements right here. The Okia Spring Fling, April 19th, 2024. Cleveland, Tennessee, McDonald, Tennessee, contact Bill Daughtry at 423-836-3607. Starting time, 6 p.m. Judges will be uh, Chad Adams, Keith Blackburn, and Claire Hankins. Mm-hmm, and then we got, I guess we got the racking horse part of it. Yeah, and we got the racking horse breeders Celebration April 24, 20 through the 27th, Chevel, Tennessee. Contact Marissa Dawson at 256 353 7225. Starting time 5 p.m. Yeah, but um, Russ, let me I'm gonna try to figure out a little bit more about you. I've been knowing you ever since I was a kid, <laughs> raised up watching you showing all these top horses and and everything, and I used to call you Mr. California Dreamer, because oh. every time we used to wait for you to come. It, it was a dream, all yes, right. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's a, it, it, California's a, it was a good state for me, and it was good to me, but uh, things just got a little different, and I thought it was just time to come home, and I've owned my place back here for 30 years. Okay. And that's the reason I named it Summer Place, because we'd come in here on July 15th and leave September 10th and go back home. And I still got a barn out there, and it's still operable. And 
I, uh, I've got guys running it that's worked for me for 29 years, one of them and the other one worked for me 21 years. And then Trish Wooten, she fills in for me out there and helps out managing and running. But uh, I got a good group of people that work it. We keep about 20, 22 horses out there. That's about enough. Well, you know, all the time I ever seen you, you always, you always run the professional barn. You know, you're everything. I remember coming, you know, out from Louisiana and coming up here, you know, for the celebration. I know when come up there and your barn always was decorated perfect and everything would show up. And you had some real top horses you used to present from the pleasure division to the paddy division and everything else. We've had some great horses. We really have. And we've had some great customers that have blessed us with great horses. And, uh, you know, uh, horse business has been good to me. I mean, I traded a motorcycle to, for a horse and just wanted to go win me a world title. That's that's all I ever wanted to do. And and uh, I believe you've done quite a few of them things right there in a the lifetime. There, I won my first one in '81. Uh huh. And uh, it's 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 been fun. It's been fun working with my son and friends, and and then move back here full time six years ago and and it's uh it's phenomenal i mean yeah. I, all i ever wanted to do is go show with the bestins of the bestins and and i feel like i have yes you now know. what got you into the to the walking horse nothing in the world i traded a i traded a motorcycle a couple of my buddies had bad issue with the motorcycle one uh -huh. of them died that day and the other one i tried to take care of till in a home till he passed away and I had a chopper and I, you know, had my hair grow down I on my shoulder and thought <laughs> I was tough and all that stuff. And I just, I said, it's just these motorcycles, they're not geared to watch people on motorcycles. And they, that lady run a red light and hit them. And I traded a motorcycle for a horse. I traded, a, I traded my motorcycle to Paul Hughes for a horse. And, and uh, I started tinkling with a horse and you know, I was born in Alabama and raised here in Tennessee, and yeah, and it was always there, but it just ignited me to get away off the street and quit riding them yes. street with a motorcycle and get myself killed and go play horses, and and I've right from the start I couldn't believe people paid you have much this much fun, <laughs> you know, it's just a lot of fun. <clears throat> now this horse right here. That's Turnbow. He's he's a great horse. I still got him. We we ride him about four days a week. Uh huh. He's a great horse. Man still owns him, Mr. Roger Emery. That, that's his pride and joy. Rebecca and Roger. But that that's a great horse. Great show pleasure horse right there. That is a nice horse. That was, that, was, that horse there was real he, nice. He's, I mean, he's still he's still a real nice horse every day of his life. Yeah. But now um. So, so how you get you you how you got to California? Tell me about that deal. How did I get there? Yeah, how did you? Oh, you know, uh, I was young, and my mom and daddy, all of us, lived over here on North Road, right outside of Nashville. Uh huh. And I went to Glencliff High School, and um, my papa went out there and was visiting California and he said, well, I'm telling y'all, y'all should come out here. So this money is running like water out here in California. And my dad said, well, that's where we need to be. <laughs> you know? So we loaded up and headed that way in a 56 Pontiac station wagon. Mm -hmm. That damn motor blowed up in it in uh, Henrietta, Oklahoma on Interstate 40. Well, it's Highway 66 then. And uh, we looked around and thought, Lord of mercy, what are we going to do now? So me and my pop, we looked around and found a Pontiac in the junkyard. We paid $100 for the motor, went down and rented us a horse, pulled that motor out. I say we, my daddy was big, my, my stepdad was big old yeah. boy, and hell, he couldn't get under a car to save his life. But, uh, I unbuckled everything. We pulled that motor out and pulled the other one out and put a new motor in that Pontiac. Man. It wasn't a new motor, one out of the junkyard, new to us. And uh, we headed out and then we got to uh, uh, Gallup, New Mexico. Uh huh. And Gallup is uh, 
a different place. Uh, a lot of, lot of native Indians and stuff around there, and they don't get in a hurry for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but now we were staying at at uh, damn Greyhound bus station. That's where my mom and my sisters were. Yeah. Me and my dad trying to figure out a way to get that car going again. And he finally said, "You know, this ain't." We can't find nothing to make this thing put another motor in it, so I'm just, we're just going to find us a place, and I'll find a job, and we'll go to work here, and we can stay another couple of nights in the Greyhound bus station. Man down there was real nice to us, and uh, I kept telling my dad, I said, "We need to call Papa and let him come get us. He's yeah. the one who got us in this thing with all that money <laughs> <running> <laughs> out there in California." So I. Uh, uh, that man at the bus station, he said, you want to call your papa? And I said, yeah, but my dad ain't for that. He said, I'll loan you the money. He'd give me a bunch of coin. I went uh -huh. out there to the phone booth, called papa, and papa said, I said, papa won't be for this. I said, he, he didn't want to call you because he don't like, he's a proud man. Yeah. And he said, that'd be all right. He'll get over that and we'll be together. So papa said, I'll be there to pick y'all up in the morning. Y'all be ready. And he come out there in a 56 Ford station wagon and picked us up and we all got in there and we left a pink slip and everything in that Pontiac right. and said, "Ever who wanted it, there it is, yes. you know. And uh, we, we, come, we come on to California. I know that's some of your passion on fixing on cars and stuff like that. It's always been my passion. I've yeah. always wanted to be a, a good mechanic and, uh, and I, I've, I've got 22 cars now, and old cars yes. and trucks, and, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just, I like, I like to make them run fast. I hear you. you know, I understand I, that. I used I, to go, I used to go to the racetrack in Nashville as a kid, and uh, I've worked on Charlie Binkley's, whole, uh, Charlie Binkley's car, uh, Marty Robbins, I used to wash his car. Okay. And. Uh, he had a car number 777, purple and yellow. Uh -huh. And uh, I'd get into Nashville Speedway and sweep the track. And you know, them curves and banks don't look real stout, but you get on your hands and knees, get up to the top. That's what I heard about that. Yeah. I ain't never been to one, I mean, but they it, told me it, it, it's, it lays in there. It lays in, yeah. <laughs> but it's, we used to sweep them tracks to, as a kid, I would. And then I got where they, they liked me pretty good doing a little flunky work. And, and uh, it, and you know, I'm friends with the uh, uh, drag racing guys. Uh, it's it's just been a passion of mine oh, to I, make I a car tell. run yeah. fast. Mm -hmm. And I I built my '55 trucks. I got a '55 Cameo that I got power disc brakes and power windows. Yeah. And still tilt steering wheel, and you know I got them. Everything it's modern. You can turn the air conditioning on and go to California. Well, going I to. understand. I understand that. So it's it's always been a passion of mine, it's, and it's something other me and my son got to do together all the time. It's good. Work on a car, and then we started working. When he got out of school, we started working on horses, and, uh -huh. and he tells people, "said I ain't never had a real job. I just work with dad." <laughs> and, and that's sort of fun. You know? I, I understand that. He's, he took after his mama. He's a little hard-headed. <laughs> you sure he'll get that a little bit from you. <laughs> <clears throat> I think we can do some videos of Walk for Roses here. And I don't want you to tell me about him there. Tell me, you know, great, I know you have Great horse. On April 4, 2016, a colt was born destined to wear the roses, giving him the name Walk for Roses. This coat would earn his name by carrying Russ Thompson to multiple major championships, including a reserve world championship, before he turned the reins over to Kelly Clark, where under his guidance, she would go on to win several amateur championships, including a world championship at the 2023 Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. His flashy looks and fantastic gait will be missed from the show ring by all who ever saw him perform. I tell you, that's, um, that was a real talented horse oh, right there. Great horse, great horse. I mean, not... I've had a lot of good horses, but he, he's a great, great horse. And I can't talk about him much now. I'm 
whimper up on you because he bought a maple. <clears throat> I couldn't believe it. That was a fun show to show him that right there. I mean, I remember that show right there. You showing him? He, he's just a just a whale of a horse. He, you know, when you take horses like that right there, that's a whale of a horse he's showing against and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, but he, he he he's in a league of his own. He's just a great horse and a pretty horse. Beautiful. Horse. I'm telling you, it's a real pretty horse. Beautiful. Horse. <laughs> Big horse. I mean, he. He had the right wheel going. You know, and that's Mr. Jimmy McConnell. You yeah. know, he don't give up much ground. That's right. That boy there, a young trainer, is coming on strong. He's been there and done that. So. But, uh, this horse here was just a joy to show. Yeah. You know, Russ, I always watch you, been watching you, like I say, when here since I was young and everything else. And you present the horse very well Thank out there. You. I mean, well, they, they say them blondes have more fun, and I had a lot of fun <laughs> yeah, with him, I can tell way. you that. I hear you. That's on gun with, he's a real deal. And then I was lucky enough for Kelly was my juvenile rider. Yeah. She won 11 and under, having his good boy's dream. But uh, she rode flash dance, had me go board dream and all that. But Kelly was bought him, and I, I just tell you, I couldn't have been a happier person. Yes. You know, great horse, great owner. Her husband, Russell Clark, good guy, kids. Uh huh. Good family. Been around Kelly her whole life. You had to crowd that with you that night. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you. Head up in that air, I'm going to tell you. He's, he's, he's just been a good horse yeah. his whole life. I saw him one day when I was going down the road. Lane Lever had him outside riding for the first time. Uh -huh. And I seen him go across that pasture and I turned around and went back. I said, what do you want for a coat? <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's where it all began because I, I said, he's, he's mine that day. And I uh, and, uh, thought, Lord of mercy, what in the world are you presenting that kind of money? You're going to have to go borrow it from somebody. Oh, yeah. This here is twisted by twisted from um, with honors right here. But as an Armstrong. Twisted, twisted. And that right there, that that's I tell you, that's him right there with Kelly right, that's right Kelly there. Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So bright. I'ma tell you that's a that horse made a, a, a good show there. Yeah. She, Kelly, Kelly did good with him. She, yeah. You know, they were just made for one another. I mean, it just was a heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. You know that, with her riding that horse, it reminded me a lot, so much of her mom. Oh, yeah. They, they rode alike, looked alike. And rode the same, you know, <coughs> you had there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that that could have been Susan right there. Yeah, just, that's what I'm just saying. Just looking out there at it. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people ask me, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's so when you if you if a person remember her showing in the ring and seeing that them two on that horse right there, you would think it was you know yeah. you were looking back in time right there. Absolutely. Great pair right there. Yeah.
Riding both the roses is owned by the Russell Park family of College Road, Tennessee. Congratulations on a Sunday night Blue Ribbon ride here in the celebration. I horse look like you can put anybody on. He sit there and do his job. Hey, he, he That's, will. I just seen he, he just seemed like that type of horse. We sent him. We sent him up there to uh, Root and Riddle and uh -huh. um, Kelly went and led him an underclass. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, uh, but. Uh, but you say you going? You see him at. The, we sent him up to Root and Riddle because. Yeah. Vet, I had a vet look at him here because I thought he had a swell in there that was new. Yeah. And we sent him to Rood and Riddle, and that's where we got the news that it was something that couldn't be fixed. Yep. And. Uh, but um, we're gonna go. We're gonna be right back after these messages. <laughs> During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live foal guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee walking horse is the perfect family horse by young and old, whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee walking horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Welcome back to this edition of What a Horse. Like I said, I have Mr. Russ Thompson here with me, right here. And I think we're going to do, we lost, talking about all the good horses we lost, we lost um, Walking for Roses, and then I think we got another horse home, Super Bowl MPV. A tribute for him. A Super Bowl MVP was foaled April 4th, 2009, and started his show career winning the two-year-old stallion championship in Philadelphia, Mississippi, with Josh Watts in the saddle. From there, he was purchased by Beth Beasley, carrying her to multiple blue ribbons, including a world championship. MVP would reach his full potential at main motion stables under the guidance of Mickey McCormick and Chad Way with B.B. Beasley in the saddle. A Super Bowl MVP would carry B.B. to 21 championships in Alabama, Mississippi, North Carolina, and Tennessee, plus the reserve World Grand Championship at the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. A Super Bowl MVP will be missed by the entire walking horse industry. He was that kind of horse. I tell you, that was a that was a real nice horse there. Oh I, man, I, I seen him. Yeah. He won a ton of blue ribbons and good I, for the whole family. Yeah, it was. I mean, that horse there was. And that's a good family too. Yeah, them girls. I put them on the first lead line pony and led them in celebration. Okay. And uh, great kids and grew up to be great young ladies and that's just bad about that horse right there because he had a a great future. A lot more years. Yeah, than that's him. you. You're right. You know, that, I mean, that, was, that was that was a real nice horse there. I think this is videos of him showing right here. A 
Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's their phone right there. <clears throat> I think he showed all of them showed him. Yeah, I mean, he, the girl showed him in. He, she showed him. He'd get in there and interfere with you too. Yeah, that's and right. He'd whoop your butt. Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, Walking a little cat. I tell you nowadays, up there in heaven, they having a heck of a horse show up there with all the trainers and the good horses is up there and, show off. and all that stuff, you know. They show off. They have to come around that inside groove, dude. Oh yeah. Like that, he's consistent every time you see him. I mean, he's sitting there doing yeah. that. that I know some good horses mm-hmm. in that class, too. They do. It's running walk time. Let him walk home. Lady Riders ask your horses to go to run and walk. Some real nice horses in that class. Mm-hmm. That's what I always say about a video. You know, you can look at a picture for so long, but now if you got that video and you can go back and see them old videos you watched, you had way back, and I mean, sometimes it'll bring you right back yeah. to where you was that day when you, <coughs> you rode in there. I got a, I, I got a library that I wouldn't want a Super Bowl be messed MVP. up at all, because boy, yeah. I got Beth horses Beasley. in there that, you know, people. I don't know. I never well, seen him that good. Well, come on up here to the house. <laughs> I can show you that good. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> hey, they ain't all mine that, that good. I'm talking about people that I've seen some horses that never won near about as much as I thought they should have won. They wouldn't mind, but I mean, they, I'm talking about good babies. I think this is one of the girls showing him right here in this class. You know, it just, going back to, you know, we're doing this for 
that horse. But I mean, you're just watching all these kids in that ring. You know, I'm gonna tell you, that's a talented, we got a talented horse where you put oh, all them horses my. together like that with them young kids in there. And I mean, them horses just behave themselves and go out there and do yes. what they're disciplined to do. And <clears throat> take them kids and just take care of them. Yes. There's some breeds you can't even get them that close together. You're right. That was a good old honest horse there now. Good old. There's a lot of discipline in horses. Yes, sir. You know, 12 to 17, they're out there going and blowing and just doing everything they're supposed to, just in the order that they call for. It's a great discipline horse. And Super Bowl himself was a little bit gamey, but yeah. now he'd mm -hmm. get in there and He'd get in there and take care of them kids. You know, getting tied in the top, you know, two in that class there, that was, I mean, that's a, that's a big honor right there. A big honor. Yes, sir. I've seen that tall horse going around now. He wasn't giving up no ground the first way. Yeah. It's tough. But now, I just tell you what, getting top five, getting a top ten in celebration, celebration you, you're right. You, you've done the job. You've done a, you've done a good job. Because I'm telling you, they ain't giving that stuff away. No, uh-uh. You're, you're exactly right about that, you know. It just, you know, <clears throat> showing and, and getting in and stuff like that. I mean, that's a, that's a big thing there. I think we're going to go to the fast show here. Some of the victory passes. I, this was a good horse right here. Yes, sir. Carissa, I mean, I don't want to mess your name up, but, I, but now she's she's a good rider. Oh yeah, she she's been good her whole life. Yes. I mean, she, uh, but yeah, she she does a good job. That's a real nice horse right there. It's a fur like you're supposed to. Yeah. Now you can talk more about these pleasure horses oh, right here. That, that young man right there has got a bunch of good pleasure horses. Yeah. He does a good job with them. He uh, works hard at it. I mean, it, it, it's a job to time one up like that. A that, lot of time. That was that show twice that show and done real good. Oh, Chad, uh, he's showing him that time. Chad's a real nice guy. Chad Spencer, yeah. he's a basketball coach there. Yeah. Yeah, I think. We got him drawn back in there a little tighter. Mm -hmm. uh, Mass had him, but I mean, he, uh, he's just a good trained horse. He's always Mr. Heisman. He's been around for a good while. I've been a good horse his whole life. Yeah. We almost bought him one time. And just wars would never connect. But uh -huh. Mr. Gordon, was, he liked him when he was a three-year-old. Bruce is a good person for this industry too. Yeah. Bruce McDonald. He's a. 
Yeah, he's always been nice to me. Yeah. That's a cocked up little rascal right there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's a good class there. That, that classic horse class, because these horses still competing with the younger oh, horses today. Yeah. Very few horses, very few breeds that can have a classic class, you know. Yeah. They just, just ain't competitive up there in the, my age and their life. These things are ours are extraordinary horses. Yeah. That horse right there is Top Gun Maverick. That's an old poke that leg out there like oh, you yeah. shake hands with him. Bob got some good horses too. This horse right here, I watched him over there. I can tell the difference between his three, two-year year and his three-year year right now. He's, he picking up, putting them down right there. Yeah, he's a little in and out as two-year-old. Yeah. The Callaway boys did a good job. Yeah. They had a good daddy. Yeah. He's still there, but he ain't riding like he uh -huh. would. But now Alan Callaway, he's a good horse. Yes. Really good horse. Good person, good friend. I'm lucky calling my friend. Boys, too. Good guy. That song guns on the money right there. Yeah. <coughs> Girls, that made good. Both of them made good shows over at the show over there. They, they're good riders. Yeah. They've been dedicated since day one. I put them on the first lead line ponies, and me and Beth led them around out there in the celebration ring and stuff. And they used to come to the barn when they first born. Okay. I had Beth's horses then out in California. Okay. This horse here have done a lot of winning here too. The tight Jose. I tell you about them Jose horses. Them some guns are they, they make good horses. Yeah. Good horses. I never had but a couple that make me scratch my eye. Uh huh. had a good show at that show. Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you, all, with all the other stuff that was going on at the show, they had some pretty good horses and talented horses at the show. Oh, yeah. That, Over I mean, there. Uh, yeah, I mean, hell, you get through and... and uh, I'm, I mean, it ain't no joke over there. I mean, they're, they're uh, but it's, uh, you know, we've, we've brought good horses to them, and, yes. and they've had a, they've had to work to find anything wrong with them, because I'm just telling you, they, there's some good, good horses out there, and the, all the guys is really trying to do their jobs, and, and then, you know, I think all of us are trying to take care of them the best best that you can take care of. Yes. <coughs> this is a nice little horse right here. The trail Pledger class. Mm -hmm. oh, they, they done got all these trail pleasure and everything. They'll shake that head and carry yeah. on. Zorro star, I started him. Okay. I got hurt that year in his two-year-old year and couldn't couldn't show. But I, I started him. He was a great horse from day one. Okay. 
Beth sits up on a horse real well. Beth, Beth is, when, when Beth started riding out there at my bone, uh, she, she didn't have a lot of confidence in herself. She didn't think she was good enough, yeah. but she, she is. Yeah. Great gal, too. Mm -hmm. Always been good to me. It's about this little boy right here, <coughs> Eli. That's about one best shows I seen that horse right there. Now, that horse is pretty good. When that hit, now he loves to ride them horses. Now. Yes, he does. does. Yes, he does. His granddaddy is he? He's behind him, Mr. Wilson. Now, Mr. Shaving Man himself. <laughs> <laughs> Shane back showing horses. Shane's a good guy too. I I um, I don't know him as close as I do a lot of people, but uh, he's uh, seems like a good guy. Yeah, always he, been good to me. He got him a little boy, and I think he keeps a bunch of coats in Murfreesboro now. Yeah, over there. I know Jose have been good for a long time. Yes. I believe if I ain't correct, correct, I think that's Tim's first show back showing was that night right there. That may be, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a whole strainer right Yeah, there. he is. Tim's a good guy. His dad is real good in them horses yeah. down there in Alabama. Oh, right there. Kick your butt. Kingpin, Bob Adcock. Mr. Bob, he come to the whole show. Yes, sir. He come looking for somebody. Okay. And he gonna ride him too. He gonna get that up. He, yes, gonna, he likes it now, I tell you. He, he enjoys showing them horses. He got a bunch of good ones. Yeah, he got a bunch of good ones. He's a great asset to the industry. Yes. That one, that been around for a long time. That horse right there been winning a bunch. He's supposed to win doing what he does. Yeah. He's going to shaking that pumpkin you know. out. Mm hmm. Well, and they've got these kids sitting better and sitting yes. straighter and not riding that saddle as much as they was there a year or two ago. Yeah. And it just. Really, really presents a beautiful picture. And this horse here, he's been, that's a nice horse right there. He's better than nice. He's better than nice. That's what I'm there. Putting on the dog. He be going that big state class this year. Oh, yeah. That'd be a tough class this year. Yeah, boy. It's a tough class every year. Yeah. But you know, we we see something that's coming, we think, Lord, here it comes, here it comes. And sure enough, it's it's just a tough class. Yes. I mean, it's a tough, tough baby. Looks like John Allen could have went two or three state classes over there running around so much. Yeah. After, after they said line up, uh -huh. you know, he and that son gun walking his fanny off too. But that, yeah, that little horse there is, I'm going to tell you, he's, that Cavender horse, he's, he's a nice horse. Yes, sir. That's a, I mean, I think this year in, this, in that class, they have a bunch of good horses in here. Mr. Russ, I'm going to let you take us to commercial right there. All right. 
the spring fling. Well, thank you to commercial. We're going to go to oh, commercial. Oh, okay. We'll go to commercial. Let's take it on down the road. There you go. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now, this is the offspring. Now, Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back to What a Horse, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I got Mr. Russ Thompson here. And I've been enjoying sitting up here listening to some of the stories he got and learning <laughs> a lot, I tell you. I ain't got a lot to learn with. I'm going to go to the Smoky Mountains. <clears throat> they had a good little show up. They had a good show up over there, you know. That's a nice place to have a horse show at. That's what they say. It, it, I've it's, never it's, been there. It's, 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 a nice, it's a nice place. I always say I'm going, I'm going, and then something pops up and I can't go. Baron riding a nice horse. Yeah. I think it twisted with honors and he the one won the class. That's a real good horse. She does it real good with that horse right there. That horse there then won a bunch in his lifetime, that Twisted with Honors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Alice Armstrong, she got a bunch of good horses. That's her? Yeah. Tyler Balkum trained a horse over there. And Tyler does a good job with them horses. Very now. good job. He does a real good job. But yeah, that's a nice place. Jimbo built a real nice place. It's, it's kind of sitting right in the middle of town. <laughs> Horse bone and show ring and all. Everybody brags on it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there. I just, every time something pops up, I yeah. couldn't go. And I was going this year. And just popped up, couldn't go. Yeah, that's, that horse there is that Twisted with Honors, he's a... To the east side, Twisted with Honors. Allison Armstrong is your owner exhibitor of Hickory, North Carolina. Twisted with Honors. Number 940 into the Blue Ribbon Circle here that's at the Smokies. Twisted with Honors, one show. Yep. Yeah. This man right here, and me and Pocahontas, man, that's another good man. I think they got the, the guru on this Pro-Am class. <laughs> they, they pretty regular.
dollar. Bird boy. Uh huh. Yeah, they have won a bunch of them pro am class. And you think they got it? Uh, they got they got something. They got the niche on it somewhere or another. <laughs> and Shane's horse right there. That's. Oh, cousin Bob. Cousin Bob. That's another nice horse right there. That's another little nice horse right there. Nice horses in that class. That's a winner right there. Yeah. Who's got that hole? Oh, Tanner Burt. Good, does a good job with them horses. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to tell you, he's a good string of horses. Good string of horses there. Uh, real good, good string of horses. Yes, he does. He does do that. But, I mean, but, Russ, as long as you don't um, show horses, I know you do a lot of judging. You do judging, too. I do. I, I've had my judges license a long time, and and um, I, I like to judge a good horse show. They, they fuss at me a little bit because they 
I think I look at them a little too long, but that's all right. I, as long as I get them rolled out, well, you right, do, I don't you give do, it You do a good job. I have to stay you, know? you right now uh, while you're standing right here. When The year I won my World Grand Champion in the lead line class, you the one that broke the mold for me and tied me first that year. Over at Belfast. Oh, well, Woodbury. Woodbury. Yeah, Woodbury. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that year I went on and, and won the World Grand Champion. I always was second and third, but when you, <laughs> when you gave me that, that leverage. I tied you one time over at, uh, at Belfast. Belfast. Uh, on the, yeah. on, um, open, on the um, open specialty horse. Yep. yep. Ch Chestnut horse. Mm hmm. Yeah, I yep. remember that. You, I mean, and, but uh, I always say you always, you always done what you wanted to do. I, Nobody didn't make it, you know. It's all, that's, that's the way I think it's, you know, and, and uh, integrity don't have no uh, prize. Yes, you know? you're right. And uh, and I, I'll be honest with you, I ain't, I ain't never had, but just a few people ever even talked to me about hinting about it, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but uh, it's, it just, it's just a way of life that uh, you, you gotta, you know, you need to earn it. Oh yeah, that's right. You know, and then, and like if it's, it, if I stand out there and it's on the line, my friend and uh, God, I don't know from Adam, if it was dead even, yeah. dead heat, yeah, I'd probably tie my friend. Yeah, that's right. That's, you know, because uh, right. I'm human. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, I ain't never seen it that close. Mm -hmm. Closest class I ever seen was Weanling Yearling class of war trace one year. Yeah. I lined them up down there nose to nose and let them stand there and look at one another to... <laughs> I made my mind. Uh, I, I remember. I remember that. Bobby Sands told me when I come back under the ten, he said, "If we're gonna go on like this all night, I said we'll be two o'clock getting out of here." <laughs> said, well, if you had something else better to do, you should have went there. <laughs> well, I just want. I'm glad that you come and visit and came and um and been my co-host here on TV and stuff like that. And I really appreciate everything well, you learned from you. I ain't worth a damn at it, but I just uh, thank uh, you. You know, Jerry interviewed me at my barn one time, and he said, I'll give you some notes. I said, I don't like to have them notes. I like to say whatever's off the cuff yeah. with me, you know. But I just want to say thank you, but we're going to have to go. See y'all later. Thank y'all. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Oh, please start talking.